Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video from. Here we have a popular and viral topic to talk about here. And it's about Apostle Joshua Selman, the popular man of God. First of all, if you are new here, kindly click the subscribe button and then give this video a like and comment your view. Thank you very much. So some months ago, there's a particular picture that was trending online about Apostle Joshua Selman being engaged to Sandra Array. And because he celebrated his 40-something birthday a few days ago, and people are still wondering why is he still single at this age? He's not married. What is going on? Or is he married and they don't want to make it public? So this particular question has left a lot of people confused. And for that, we have a late video that will explain everything but before that um i think the man of god has his right i think he has reasons for ev anything maybe he's delaying for a purpose or if he's not yet married so let's just dive into um the video let's listen to what apostle joshua selman has to say about That's marriage awesome. wow well, thank you very much sir. my pleasure this is also a bit personal you are still single yes <laughs> how do you handle the issue of sisters and, and that is also a lesson for your ministers in the sense that i mean see how god has helped you uh, and i can relate with that because i also know one or two people who um, had a similar deal with god and by the grace of god uh, rose into the purpose of god for their lives before they married so for your ministers and, and for yourself, someone like you, how do you balance that side? I mean, to be focused, to be single, and how do you deal with sisters? Okay, I appreciate. Um, I, I think the issue of ladies and sisters and so on, uh, is not limited to whether you are married or not. It's only minimized when you are married. That, that's <laughs> what I believe. Anybody who will be very honest, You're right, you sir. know, uh -huh. So, um, I think the key is values mm. and principles. Wow. Yes. The key is to be able to put values. Uh, because I would submit to you that um, many people who may have problem with sisters, the ladies don't intentionally come to cause trouble. They are just being ladies. <laughs> and... Uh, ladies will generally want a shoulder with all due respect to all the ladies following and the ladies around <laughs> you understand yeah, I, i'm not sure i'm not sure that uh, there are few ladies and 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 i think let's honor what the holy ghost is doing in the body i don't there are few ladies that will actually get up intentionally to say i want to destroy there are people like that but i think what happens is that the devil takes advantage of the vulnerability and the compassion of both the leader and the people involved because once you are emotionally connected to people for instance you have a sister or someone in in the church or the fellowship and you know about their background you know about what they've gone through you understand the peculiarity of their dealing and they've been open to you on that wise naturally you will be soft-hearted towards those people and even when they misbehave from the lens of what you know about them you will express a lot of compassion mm -hmm. now that compassion can become dangerous wow. that is why you must balance it with values values like um visitations counselings you know ladies you don't just invite sisters to say come to my house come and help me cook rice cook beans it may not be seen but you are near sodom the bible says when 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 um uh, what's his name when lot when lot left abraham he didn't go into sodom he stayed near sodom, near sodom. by the time abraham would come to rescue lot he was in, he was in the middle of sodom so um sometimes sometimes it's important to to just have standards and values i believe that when you have values and you are strict on it even though many people may misunderstand you but eventually you will get and, and it's more dangerous today because of the presence of social media yeah. you know 
Um, there are all kinds of platforms that create connections and all of that. Uh, and the devil is really out to see how he can discredit ministers and bring you know people down through this avenue so i think the key is to set very strict values for instance let me give maybe three or four generally you can have a standard like okay you will not counsel a single sister alone for instance or in the night these are very good uh, principles and and now i want to say something respectfully and i don't mean to to uh, hurt the body or something i think there is a bit of balance that we need to put or addition to what we know to be the communication of the grace of god because i think that if not checked a bit that may be an area that the devil may take advantage of if the concept of the grace of god is not properly understood it can become a license for licentiousness mm. you understand what i'm trying yes, to say sir. yes i don't mean yes, to yes I'm, you know that sense of god does not condemn people but the consciousness of right and wrong is important we have traffic lights even though we are intelligent people mm. the traffic lights help to bring coordination yeah. so those yeah. kinds of things uh, because sometimes for as little as what I've said is for many people they can feel what is the meaning of that you know there is a grace of God that grants you grace to say no to this but uh, pragmatically speaking you are also a psychological being mm -hmm. and biology and psychology uh, and psychology plays its role in our lives yeah. so sometimes creating some of these standards will help us mm -hmm. um, if, if, if you are living with a lady for instance that you are not married with uh, you don't have to do anything wrong hmm. for it to destroy you wow the psychological torture of the imagery you are giving room to will frustrate your prayer life will frustrate your concentration will frustrate a lot of things and then it will it will give room for so many things so this generally my encouragement for people especially we young ministers and then most especially uh, people who are single uh, are not married yet i think that that the encouragement um, will be create standards trust god for grace it's easier said than done in all fairness but i think it's good to create standards and then number two be visionary in the bible vision helps people to stay on course wow. Wow. lack of vision is what sponsors distraction mm. there is a way you can be so visionary you look at your watch it's eight o'clock in the morning next time you check it is 10 p.m because you are so engaged you have sermons to prepare you have several things to do when you are excessively idle mm. you have to pick your phone from checking a sermon you go to a video you should not go to you see that from there before you know it until you are in sodom so these are some of the things we are talking about i think the key is standards and then number two build a community of like-minded people mm. having a kingdom community is the key to sustaining kingdom values wow. um working in isolation is very dangerous mm. a community life creates a healthy system of check and balance mm. You see, so so that so that 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 is very and then number three practice periodic retreats wow uh, i i i am shocked in all honesty at the fact that people can be busy in ministry for a very long time and not have i'm not talking of the usual weekly retreat or these just two hours where most of it you are sleeping i mean a serious heartfelt retreat from the depth of your heart yeah. where you stay with god and when you are with god don't tell lies don't go to god as a man of god you go to god sincerely <laughs> now it's easy for you to clap for me as joshua selman and so it's only god that knows the truth about me yeah. so when i go to god the one who i cannot hide i say okay god please deal with me and god can say okay be careful lust is growing in your heart here pride is growing in your heart here maybe um pressures are mounting on you and maybe your prayer life is not as effective as that and i say okay god thank you supply the grace for the next level the the key to being sustained in ministry is to be truthful to yourself very truthful to yourself and when you go before god you are sincere and 
honest if you go to god as mog uh, you go to god as a colleague in ministry uh, very soon things will go bad you must when i go to god i go with an open heart and i go very sincerely search my heart truthfully oh god Hallelujah. and anything god tells me whether i have proof for it or not i believe it if i go before god now and god says you are an arm robber i believe him i will not say where, where whose money did i steal i will start rolling on the ground and say show me mercy before i disappoint myself because you know god does not have future everything is his realm is now so when god speaks some of what he's saying will not be in your now Wow. but it's a possibility that is enshrined in you like mm. a dna mm. so you kill it before it destroys you in the future mm. the key is honesty that transparency mm. i think we need to be more transparent human beings don't have that fortitude to show wow. us mercy mm. so we must go to the one who is able to take us just as we are and build us so that would be my thank you very much sir. i yeah. just have two more questions or yes, so, sir. so i can wrap this up um this is also a bit uh, also controversial. Okay. Um, but I just wanted to shed light to use this opportunity. So in the last uh, two, three weeks, there was one of your videos making around. I know possibly you've heard about it. Um, you know, we have some boys on the, <laughs> on the social media who just, they're uh, stalking traders to attack ministers. So you were talking about uh, the